Hi everyone, this is um, Amara Kang and she is a dental student at UCSF and she, um, Amara is here today to talk about us about her experience um, from high school through college and also through um, her dental school here. Hopefully um, her experience can convince you know, um, some uh, the next generation will soon to pursue higher education all the way through, um, you know, a dental school. Okay, so, um, Amra, um, can you kind of walk us through um, your experience in high school that from you to college, and then after that, how you thought about going to dentistry and all that? Sure. So, in high school, I really liked science mm -hmm. and how especially like health. So mm. I was always interested in how I could promote health. Mm. And I think part of that was because my parents were pretty ill mm -hmm. when I was younger. Uh -huh. um, I think they had some repercussions from being refugees during mm. the Civil War. Mm. So um, they, you know, they were dealing with some, some illness and mm. It was always on my mind. Mm. Oh, oh no, my parent has to go to the doctor. Mm. Or, uh, and I would go with them sometimes and okay. help translate. So um, I was pretty interested in health. Mm. And uh, I thought, well, maybe I want to go to medical school okay. uh, in college. Mm -hmm. So I ended up going to SF State. Mm. And so how did you prepare in, um, in high school? How, what did you do in high school? You know, I actually didn't do a lot, and mm. I think that more could have been done. Mm. But I think at that time, the resources that I had available, mm. um, any maybe help or support, mm. I didn't have that at the time. Mm. So my parents didn't know mm. um, how they could help me. Mm. And so I don't think I actually did much to prepare for mm. uh, studying health in college. Mm -hmm. I just I studied, I did the the work that I needed to do in high school, mm -hmm. and I just hoped for the best. Mm -hmm. So the work that you did in high school, this is through like your counselor that assigned you the classes, or this is something right. that you learned from somebody else? It's um, what the counselor tells you. To do. Okay. okay. But I think if I what I did do is I took AP courses mm -hmm. in high school um, just because it helps you um, you take more challenging courses mm -hmm. than it, even when you go to college. Mm -hmm. It's not as big of a difference. So I did I did take AP courses and another thing that I did was I uh, I took classes at the junior college during oh, the summer. Okay. So that was something to. Uh, help you prepare for the challenge of college courses and then also you get college credit. So how did you find out about all that stuff? Friends. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now AP course in high school, was that a choice that you had to make or, or was that part of the uh, option that was given to you? It's a choice that you make. Okay. Uh, so you don't have to take it if you don't want. And you test in to take it. So okay. there's usually some kind of test that mm. uh, if you want to do the AP course, then mm. take it and see if you get accepted. Mm. And your friend took AP courses? Yes. Yeah, so okay. actually, I did have friends that uh, were studious mm -hmm. and uh, really wanted to do well in school. Mm. So actually, that helped me too. Okay. 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 Um, so how do you know about the uh, class in college? Was it part of a dual enrollment in the city college? No. So at that time, no, I didn't. I don't think we were told about it from school. I oh. think my friends oh. who had great support systems, they were interested in going to community college taking mm -hmm. courses. So no, I thought, why not? I'll do it too. So you have a group of friends here. How do you find them? By chance. By chance. These yeah. are the friends you, you met at school, basically? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So some from middle school, some mm. from high school. Mm. And I think I was just happened to have uh, some friends that were really, that really valued education. Mm. 
So now in terms of applying to college, what was your process? So um, I ended up, I did not get into ABC. Mm -hmm. I ended up getting a scholarship at SF State mm -hmm. and um, I thought, okay, well, okay. that works out for me. Okay. Like, I, although I wanted to go to ABC, mm -hmm. it, I ended up going to SF State. And, okay. um, it just happened to be that I got a scholarship there, so mm -hmm. that was a big help. Mm -hmm. And um, it, uh, SF State has a lot of, it's pretty strong in mm -hmm. bio, the biological sciences, mm -hmm. so that, uh, that was good. Mm -hmm. And I just ended up studying biology. Mm -hmm. So, um, did you live in a dorm? I did for mm -hmm. a year. Mm -hmm. And it, um, it was it was okay. Mm -hmm. So after that, you just move out to. We moved out mm -hmm. and with some friends to just off campus housing. Mm -hmm. It's a little more freedom. Mm -hmm. You pay a little less. Mm -hmm. So your scholarship wasn't paid for your housing as well as for your tuition. It didn't pay for housing. It was just a stipend. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Did you get other financial aid as well? I did. Okay. Yeah, I needed. That. Okay. Did you have to pay? Was it enough for you? No. No. <laughs> I still had to take out loans. Oh, okay. Okay. Now for biology, was it? Um, how did you prepare during college? Yeah. So during college, it was it was tough. Mm. You no, know, it's, it's a lot more tough than um, high, high school. school. Mm -hmm. So what did I do? I tried my best to study. Yeah. Did Spent you, a lot of time in the library. <laughs> did you have a group of friends to study with or anything like I that? I did. Okay. I didn't study in a group. Okay. But I had groups that, I had friends that we would go to mm -hmm. the same place and mm -hmm. sit and study together by ourselves, mm -hmm. but just sitting by each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, how many classes did you have per semester? Mm -hmm. Maybe five or six. Depending on what, what it was, like what quarter it was. I think as I got closer to graduating, I was closer to finishing everything, so I took fewer classes. But I think I started with five or six. Five or six. Were you working? No. No. Okay. Okay. Well, um, the um, five or six classes, um, was it manageable? It was tough. It was tough? Yeah. Okay. So you mentioned that you study in the library, just study as much. What was your methodology? How did you overcome the challenges of these science classes? Yeah. So I actually think that during undergrad, mm -hmm. I had a harder time. Mm -hmm. And my grades were not top grades. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think I, I still needed to work on my study habits mm -hmm. as an undergrad. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I did a post bac program mm -hmm. that I got better at studying mm -hmm. and doing really well. Mm -hmm. were, you, the class. were you then on your own or you had like a guidance counselor, a mentor, or anybody? During you undergrad? Uh -huh. You do have um, some counselors, mm -hmm. but they don't give you very much personalized attention mm -hmm. because there's so many other students yeah, in undergrad. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you really don't get a lot of attention. If, it, if, you, if you want it, you have to be proactive about it mm -hmm. and seek it mm -hmm. because they don't have time for it if you don't do that. Were you in the uh, EOP program at all? Doing your undergrad. What is EOP? It's the Educational Opportunity Program. So I was in this other program that was, I think, associated with that. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's part of the scholarship okay. that I was in. Okay. So they do give you a little bit of guidance. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But you feel that you didn't have enough, basically. I think I had okay. Okay. Like maybe not as much as I needed at mm -hmm. the time, but it was okay. Now, um, in college, um, when you have challenges for these classes, were there help out there, like tutors or? Yeah, yeah. there were. There were tutors. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did, did you use that a lot? So there, there was one class that I was having trouble with. It was math, mm. and it was like calculus, mm. and I had trouble with it. And I did have a tutor for that, and mm. it, it did somewhat help. Okay. So what actually what I found that helped me during college is. 
asking people what class did you take, which professor? Mm. Because sometimes you take the same class mm. with different professors and it makes a big yeah. difference in how well you learn. Mm. So you want to make sure and read the teacher's reviews. So how do you do that? There's a, some websites online that you oh. can read <laughs> reviews Review. about the, the teacher. teacher. Okay. And that actually, I did that a lot and it oh. does help. Okay. And Sometimes you take a class and you get an amazing teacher mm. and you learn it so mm. quickly yeah. because you have an amazing teacher. Okay. And when you ask other people, how do you ask other people? Where do you meet these other people that you, you can ask? Which class, what teacher? It's very random, but just ask your friends. Okay. Or anybody that, you know. So what happens is when you have the same major, mm -hmm. you end up seeing the same people over and over. In every class? Yeah. Okay. So then you usually become friends with them. Mm -hmm. Were you in any kind of club when you are undergrad? I was. I can't remember which one, mm -hmm. so maybe not. At least one. Maybe not that active, mm -hmm. but... Did it My help you at all? Health, I was okay. in a uh, pre-health club. Did it help you with any kind of... Yeah, it was good. So this club was different people who wanted to go into the health profession. So mm. medicine, mm. Um, I think a lot of pre-meds. Mm. So what we did was we did health fairs. Mm. So we organized health fairs. Mm. We would test blood pressure, test cholesterol, mm -hmm. do body fat testing. Mm. Just uh, different measures of uh, how a person's health was. Okay. And then we give them goodie bags of different things okay. that are free, like health bars, mm. vitamin drinks. Okay. So did it help you with in terms of getting connection to the it different, did. to like good teachers and all of that too? Um, yeah, you learn like, okay, you get to talk to other mm. uh, peers mm. and see what they like, what they mm. don't like, so yeah, I, I would recommend it. Mm. Was there anything else that you did for your undergrad that got you to graduate, basically? Just trying to stay focused mm. on your goals and mm. planning ahead. I think I, I could have done better. Mm. Like, when I look back, mm -hmm. I feel like there are some things I could have done better that I didn't know I could have done. Just what would that be? Like planning ahead mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. I, I think a, a really good thing to do would be to think about what you want to accomplish. Don't just let things happen to you. Mm -hmm. So if you are want to be a doctor, mm -hmm. figure out what kind of doctor do you want to be? Mm -hmm. Which school do you want to go to? Mm -hmm. Where do you want to live? Even though it seems far away, mm -hmm. if you want to go that direction, mm -hmm. then you need to know which direction you're going to go. Mm -hmm. So right now you're in dental school. So when you were under, um, during your undergrad, did you know that you want to be, or you want to go into dental school? No, I didn't at mm -hmm. all. I had no interest in dentistry whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I had a friend that. Uh, went to dental school. I couldn't understand why she wanted to be a dentist. It seemed so uninteresting to me. And I didn't realize I wanted to do it until I was working after graduating from college. So what made you decide that you wanted to go to dental school? <laughs> so I decided that I wanted to go to dental school I was working after graduating mm -hmm. and realized that oh, I'm kind of interested in dentistry. Mm -hmm. I had braces and mm -hmm. I had a really fantastic mm -hmm. orthodontist mm -hmm. and uh, he encouraged me to go to school. Mm -hmm. He noticed that I was very particular about the treatment he provided and mm -hmm. very interested in it. So I would ask him a lot of detailed questions mm -hmm. and he thought that I had the, the aptitude mm -hmm. to be a dentist. Mm -hmm. Actually, I still talk to him today. He yeah. teaches at UCSF. Mm -hmm. So, and then what happened? Um, slowly had that idea in my mind that I wanted to do it, and and uh, just started thinking about, okay, what do I need to do? Mm -hmm. 
first thing I need is to see, uh, I need to take the entrance exam for dental school. Mm -hmm. I need to make sure I have the classes that are required to apply to dental school. Mm -hmm. So I realized that in order to prepare for the test, mm -hmm. I needed to take some classes like mm -hmm. chemistry, um, biology, few other classes that you need to know uh, to, to take the test. So how, how did you find out what you need to do? You go to what websites like say UOP, mm -hmm. Dental School or UCSF, mm -hmm. go to their admissions page, mm -hmm. find read the admissions requirements mm -hmm. and it'll say, okay, these are the classes that you need to take to apply. Mm -hmm. okay. The other thing you can do is you can email the admissions officer directly and say, would you like, you know, I would like to apply and mm. what classes I need. And I actually did that. Mm. Uh, I emailed the admissions director at UOP Dental School mm. and asked her to look at my transcript. Mm. And then she told me, okay, like, I want you to take these classes. Mm. So uh, she wanted me to take anatomy and uh, a few other, mm. like, upper division biology mm. courses. And then, um, from there, then you do what they tell you to do. So what did you do from there? So I realized that in order to prepare for the dental school application, I, I need to go to find some kind of post back program um, just to take the courses. And I actually didn't know, but uh, I didn't know which one is the best one for me. So I ended up emailing an old professor of mine. Oh, from okay. undergrad, uh -huh. and uh, he said, hey, you know, if you're interested in dentistry, I have the perfect uh, program for you. Mm -hmm. It's called UCSF Dental post -Bac Program, and um, you should apply. Um, and you did? I did. Okay. So can you describe the experience from that program? Okay, so I took upper division biology courses, um, like pharmacology, uh, cardiovascular physiology, things like that, a little more advanced. And then uh, what it does is it helps boost your GPA if you need a higher GPA to apply to dental school. And then it helps you prepare for the DAT test, which is the admissions test for dental school. Mm -hmm. So you do that, and then you get some other support mm -hmm. uh, to, they look at your CV, see what kind of experience you have, and maybe what experience you might need to apply. Mm -hmm. And for me, I, uh, it was, I needed a research experience, mm -hmm. so I got to, um, to go volunteer at UP Dental School and mm -hmm. assist with research. Mm -hmm. And I also uh, was assigned to do some dental assisting volunteer work, mm -hmm. and that was a way to just learn more about dentistry, mm -hmm. and then to just get some volunteer experience and help the community. Mm -hmm. So how long was the program? So it's a year and a half. Okay, okay. How was that experience compared to your undergrad experience? It was, uh, it was really enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I got more personalized attention and guidance, mm -hmm. and um, it was just a tremendous help for me. So when you got out from that program, what did you get? Did you get a certificate or...? You do get a certificate. Okay, okay. And then you get the help to apply to the uh, dentistry, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, so, um, and then you apply, right? So how many schools did you apply to? So I applied to 16. Okay. Can you walk us through a little bit about that? Why is okay, that? Okay, so I applied to several dental schools mm -hmm. all over the country. Mm -hmm. I chose some, my top choices, and then maybe some safety schools that mm -hmm. I thought I would have a good chance of getting into, mm -hmm. and then some schools in between. Mm -hmm. And I applied to a lot because I just wanted to increase my chance of getting into mm -hmm. a school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so why 16? What is the average? Do you know? I don't know the average, but usually people tend to apply a to lot. a lot. Now, the, 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 the program that just, um, that for that one year and a half, um, the, uh, the tuition, right? Um, do you have to pay the tuition just sort of like a regular undergrad tuition or it has a different tuition? It's a little bit higher. Higher? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Did you have financial aid for that? I did. You did? Oh, it's fully covered? With loans. With loans, okay. okay. So after the 16, so what what did you decide to do after that? So I ended up getting interviews at my top three choices. Mm -hmm. So I just only went to interviews at those schools mm -hmm. and then just got accepted into uh, the one that I wanted. And now you're at UCSF and you're on your fourth year. Yes. Describe your experience at UCSF when you so first started. It, it was challenging and tough, kind of. Mm -hmm unexpected um, how much how rigorous it was there is a lot of anatomy very heavy didactics um, big surprise from what I expected um, it's very different from what you think dentistry is but it's the stuff that you need to take in order to provide dental care so in order to provide good dental care, dental care you have to understand uh, biology, you have to understand medicine, pharmacology, just so that you can provide uh, comprehensive, safe care to patients. So how did you stay focused? Um, how did you overcome all those unexpected? You just have to push through, <laughs> study hard, push through. You also mentioned your, your, um, your mentor or Oh yes, yeah, so I did have a wonderful mentor and I would just go to her when I started, you know, when things started feeling a little challenging. There was a point where I thought dental school wasn't right for me and I would, you have to talk about these things when you, when you come across like a difficulty, make sure you talk about it because that way you figure things out and sometimes people have different perspectives that you may not you might not know um, my mentor actually told me that you know what you dislike now like what's frustrating you now about dental school that's not what dentistry is it's just the hurdle that you need to get through in order to do what you want to do in dentistry so remind yourself that when you get um, frustrated or when you're not enjoying yourself just think okay this is just something that I have to do in order to meet my goals mm. can you describe that your like the activity at school like for year one what do you have to do so year one is didactics which is a lot of just studying uh, biology mm -hmm. uh, pharmacology, mm -hmm. physiology, mm -hmm. and uh, then also there's uh, biomaterials, which is the materials that are used in dentistry. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, the metals mm -hmm. that are mixed to, for, to, use, to make different uh, mm -hmm. dental uh, restorative materials. Mm -hmm. So how many classes do you have to take per day or, or per semester? Per semester, maybe four. Four? Okay. When, all have when you first start off, okay. Okay. then gradually it becomes a little less mm -hmm. didactics and more clinical, which is when you're treating the patient. And when was that? So the third year. Okay. So what third, about second year? What you do? Second year is very similar mm -hmm. to first year, where it's more didactic. So mm -hmm. a lot of uh, working, reading books. Mm -hmm. um, half the time, the other half you're working on a mannequin mm -hmm. with plastic teeth. With plastic teeth. How was that experience compared to the undergrad? Uh, different. Yeah. Yeah. But just like very, you very focused. Okay. Okay. Now, what about your third year? Third year, you're getting ready to treat real patients. Okay. And that's when it feels strange at first mm -hmm. because we've never done that before. But start working on real people. Mm -hmm. You learn how to talk to them and provide care for them because they, they trust you, you want them to trust you. So you're trying to build a connection with them and you slowly get better at it. So what percentage of your time spending uh, treating patients? Maybe 80% oh. of the time okay. during third year. Okay. Okay. You don't have that much class anymore. You have class once a week. Okay. Now you mentioned about tests. That you have to have two phases of tests. Right? Oh yeah. So um, 
during your first or second year, you take a national board exam for mm -hmm. dentistry, and that's uh, to get your license. Mm -hmm. And okay, did you have anything else? <laughs> you should order. <laughs> you should order. We're not, we're not done. We're not done yet. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm about to head out for a second because I have to do some stuff for my exam. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just came to stop by. Do you have an exam? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, I put the beer here? Okay, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, okay which is here. Um, this is Richard. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? He's, um, he's another um, dental student. He's um, third year. Third, third year, third year. Okay. What she was just talking about right yeah. now. <laughs> Uh, we'll meet him later. Yes, right now he yes. has to run, so yeah, um, thank well, you. thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, yeah, what I said. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my exam. Is that, oh, the exam that she's talking about? No, 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 no. it's a different exam. <laughs> <laughs> All it's right. A, yeah, but I, uh, yeah, I have a, um, it's a pathol, pathol physiology. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a big exam. I already haven't studied for it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Go study. Go study. Go study. I'm All right. Bye. I, just, I, I, want Bye. To, I will interview someone. Yeah, Richard, next time. Do you want to take this? What? No, that's fine. I, I had some sandwich with it. Okay. 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 I'm surprised it was here. I thought it was going. I know. Well, I kind of gave him a hard time for not coming. <laughs> <laughs> so where were we? So uh, you take your license for your exam. It's called National Board Exam, you take that between first and second year, and um, it's one day, mm -hmm. and then your second exam, you take fourth year, that's uh, National Board Exam Part 2, mm -hmm. and um, that's like one and a half days. Mm -hmm. The sequential? Did you take it one day at a time, or how do you Yeah, you okay. can take it one day at a time, usually. I think you can separate them, but most likely you don't want to separate them because you already studied, so you might as well just get it done. How long, can, if you want to separate, how long can you have? How much time do you have? I'm not sure. Okay. So how did you prepare for these exams? You just try to study during your time away from school, because mm -hmm. you do have a little bit of time here and there, mm -hmm. so study as much as you can. Did you study from the uh, the class that you took, or this is some a separate thing that you have to You study? can study from your lectures from school, oh, okay. um, but then it's really common to get some kind of program or a book that's more comprehensive mm -hmm. and, and reviews everything you need to know. Mm -hmm. How about you? What did you do? I use an app and some books oh. that, um, that do that. What app is that? It's called a uh, dental... Dental Boards Mastery. Oh. Did you have to pay for that for the app? You do have to pay for it, but you can get try to get deals. They they always have discounts. Okay, okay, okay. So that was like second year, right? Yeah. So that was I took one during right after first year. Oh, right after and first year. And then the most recent one is part two. I took that on your fourth year. year. Yeah. On your fourth year. What about on um, year three? Just basically just start doing year clinical. Year three, you do have uh, just regular school exams. School exams. Okay. Now, for year four, how is it different from year three? Year four, you're getting ready to graduate, mm -hmm. so you want to make sure you get all your requirements in. Mm -hmm. um, you also have another exam for your licensure, mm -hmm. which is called the REV exam, mm -hmm. and that's just so that you will be able to work in different states. Mm -hmm. um, so that is a, a practical exam where you're working on a patient. It's two and a half days, mm -hmm. and um, it's in May. Mm. And if you do pass that, then you'll have licensure to work in, I think, 34 states. State. Now, if you just want to work in California, do you need to take that test? Um, no. What you can do is you can do a residency. Oh, okay. And once you're done with that residency, then you earn your license to work in California. Mm. So you just got accepted into a, a residency program, I right? Did, yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that process? Well, it's um, if you want to advanced procedures mm -hmm. that you didn't learn in dental school or if mm -hmm. you just want more practice mm -hmm. or you want to build speed then a residency will help you do that mm -hmm. and um, it's kind of like another year of mm -hmm. school in a way because mm -hmm. you're, you're a resident mm -hmm. so you're working under somebody else's license mm -hmm. but you, you are a dentist because you did graduate dental mm -hmm. school mm -hmm. you do get paid um, a small amount mm -hmm. um, and then you just 
um, you're in a program and you mm -hmm. just learn from your uh, supervisors or your your uh, faculty. Mm -hmm. So after after that, you can get a you can go and either have your own practice or work in a yes with somebody else. Okay. Now, I think financial is a big thing. Can you describe a little bit about that? So financial, yes, it is big. Um, it's normal to have about $250,000 to $400,000 of debt mm -hmm. once you're done with dental school. Mm -hmm. So many people need financial aid. Mm -hmm. I needed it. And it's, it's daunting to, mm -hmm. have, to, to know that that's how much dental school costs. Mm -hmm. So it's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. But the good thing about it is that once you start working, mm -hmm. you will be able to pay it off. Mm -hmm. Slowly pay it off. Mm -hmm. so, um, so if you would describe what got you today here, yeah, um, how would you, how, you know, um, how would you say that? What got you through all your Not different through. different program, your undergrad, your uh, what you call it post? Yeah. Post. What do you call that program? Post. Post that. Post that. <laughs> and then now you're about to graduate yeah, with your so, degree here. I think what got me through was having amazing teachers that mm -hmm. taught me so much mm -hmm. like, at school, but mm -hmm. outside of school, who just encouraged me to mm -hmm. go back to school mm -hmm. and. And just pursue higher education. Mm -hmm. so that made a big difference for me. Um, if you don't have that in your life, mm -hmm. you know, find somebody that you look up to, mm -hmm. ask some questions, how they got there, mm -hmm. and you know that will that will inspire you mm -hmm. to do what you want to do. You have to find somebody who inspires. Now, being a woman, being a Cambodian woman, does that make any difference for you? In terms yes. of pursuing higher education. Uh, yes, it does because um, you know there are not a lot of Cambodians in higher education, so mm -hmm. you don't see familiar faces. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say you know, look for examples of other women. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't, if you don't know a Cambodian woman, just mm -hmm. look for other women. Mm -hmm. But they are out there. There's plenty of Cambodians in healthcare, mm -hmm. just not, uh, you know, not the majority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if someone wants to become a dentist, what would you tell them? I'd say, you know, if you are passionate about healthcare and interacting with other people, mm -hmm. patients, mm -hmm. um, and if you like the hands-on artistry of dentistry. And you know, go for it. Mm. It's worth it. <laughs> now, do you have any question? I don't have any more. Um, well, I'm not question, but to end, anything you want to add? Um, yeah, I want to say I never thought that I would uh, be in dental school mm -hmm. and almost done with it. Mm -hmm. Never thought that I would be at UCSF. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't think it was something that I was capable of doing, mm -hmm. but. I'm I'm almost done with it, mm -hmm. and I just want to say that you know if that's something you're interested in, not just dentistry, but anything that you're interested in that you want to do, you can do it. Mm -hmm. You just have to put your mind to it, and if you have the right support system, you will be able to do it. You just mm -hmm. have to believe in yourself and work hard consistently. You will be able to do it. I think if I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> Well said. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.